Hi, this is Francisco Bijan from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is how can I get over her when she lives next door? This is another question that I was asked uh, to me uh, some time ago. And um, of course, you know, you are going to face some situations where you break up, where eventually you have to interact with her. One of them is when you work together, for instance, you work in the same organization and you need to interact for professional reasons. Another one is when you live, live physically close to each other. Another one is you have a common uh, circle of friends. Another one is when you go out in the same kind of places. So all these situations mean that sometimes when you break up, you still have to interact with, uh, with your ex. You still see her. It doesn't mean that you have to actively build a friendship with her, of course but you still might see her every now and then. So when she lives next door and you see her dating other guys, so all, all this, uh, you know, going on with, you see her going on with, uh, with her life, all this can be quite challenging. But again, it's another challenge, but it doesn't mean that you cannot solve it or overcome it. So when this happens, here is what you can do. The first thing that you can do is make sure that the way you relate to her is respectful, diplomatic, but you don't build up a friendship. Okay, um, you simply, when you see her, you say, hey, hi, how are you doing? It's nice, okay, nice weather, etc. You know, keep it to very light talk, don't engage into us conversations or relationship conversations or how you are doing on an emotional level or feeling level. Okay? You don't open up on that level. You maintain a diplomatic, respectful, but a bit cold and distant attitude. That's the best attitude to, to have. You don't want to try to pretend that you don't see her. That would be stupid and nasty uh, and uh, it's not really needed. You have emotional resources that you can apply in a moment like that and simply take this position or this role where you are diplomatic, you are respectful, you shared something important in the past with her and um, you know you simply look at her and, and have a one minute conversation with her eventually when you see her if you want to. That's uh, the, the whole, uh, you know, the whole idea. Now, if you, uh, if you really want to get over her when she's living next door, the next important step is to rebuild your life again without her. And to do that, first, clearing traces of her presence in your personal environment. Okay, this is super important when she's next door because her presence next door is still, you know, radiating or sending you the, the message of the past. So it's important that you uh, reinforce even the other strategies. The other one is as well, start light dating other women as soon as possible because the moment you have other female presences in, uh, in your life, this is where your mind is going to be focused on and eventually you, you know, she will start taking distance uh, uh, away from you. Another one which is important is uh, if she tends to invade your space, for instance, she shows up and needs some sugar or coffee or something like that, or wants to have a drink with you, uh, these kind of things, um, then it's important as well that you that you tell her, look, uh, right now we are broken up, and I don't really want to us to start interacting and, and build up a friendship. So, if you can simply start relying on other people, that would be that would be great. What if she needs help for something? You can you can refuse as well. You can say. Look, I, I don't really want to help you with your life anymore. We are no longer in a relationship, so please look for support somewhere else. You know, you can be firm. You can simply st set uh, new boundaries when you relate to her and start relating to her from, from that perspective. You don't have to be Mr. Kind, nice guy who becomes her, a good, supportive friend uh, for, for her in her life. Um, again, this would, be, uh, this would mean that you invest uh, your time and energy into her life and uh, it's not needed. You can tell her, I, I'm busy with something else right now. I'm going on a date with another woman this evening and uh, I have to prepare for that. Okay? You can be firm and direct. Another possibility is that when you live next door, yeah, eventually moving to uh, another place, another city is, uh, is a possibility. And if she's, uh, especially in the situation if she's renting the space from you, you can kick her out. You can say, look, sorry. Uh, right now it's not a good idea that you live next door, so if you can go and find another place, that'd be great. But that's a possibility. But, you know, if you cannot, uh, because she, she has the right to be where she is, you can always move and, and find another place, another flat or another house or another house. That's another possibility. Or even, you know, move to another city. But that's quite extreme. I would say don't run away from her, okay? You have the right to be where you are and uh, go to the places where you go. So if you tend to interact with her within this kind of um, 
uh, context, you know, work and uh, social events or common friends, you know, these kind of situations, you don't have to pretend that she owns them from now on or she owns these places from now on. You have as much right to go to these places as, as she has. So it is the same with uh, if she lives next door. You don't have to run away, you don't have to hide. You can simply reconquer that territory and strengthen your power through the strategies that I mentioned earlier. Okay, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.